content is good i'm doing all the seo things i'm supposed to do i'm being genuine i'm being consistent i was like yeah where are the numbers hey guys and welcome to time and time every week you get to spend a little bit of time with me in the realness that is But you really don't And it's like every time I get up I'm just trying to cope I got roll another Ella Boy, you try to smoke All right, then I'm gonna Back to Time with Temi And if you're new here, welcome to Time with Temi And welcome to the weirdness that is my brain If you're wondering who's this really pretty blonde babe Sitting in front of you Make sure that you check out last week's video Where I go blonde And you can watch all my friends react to that So as you can tell by the title I think this is just going to be a bit of a discussion video for myself really just to see where my head's at and just to get enjoyment back from creating on youtube but before we get into this video make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notifications you know every single time that i post for those of you that have been here for a really long time you've definitely seen the trajectory and the growth of this channel and where it's sort of where it is at the stage that it is now which i'm very happy with and i'm very proud of because i love the content that i'm making now but if you if you know me personally and if you've been on this channel for a while because i've been doing this for four years so um you know that i've always wanted to make youtube my career and as i said i've been doing this for four years so i think after you do something for a really long amount of time you set like you set certain expectations for yourself and i started doing my youtube in my first year of uni um and i'm doing my masters now so i'm still a student so i'm still in that like mindset and as i said in my video when i was about to go into doing my masters i'm at this stage in my life where i'm supposed to have a job and i'm supposed to have everything figured out and i'm supposed to know x y and z and here i am like i was saying after you do something for a really long amount of time you set expectations for yourself you set goals for yourself and you know where you want to be and i think for especially during our during our first lockdown where i am now and where i wanted to be aren't adding up like it's not it's not what i had envisioned that's obviously really really scary because <sighs> i don't know let me try and make sense of what i'm trying to say when i first started my youtube channel i thought it was going to be really easy like i thought i could basically get a million subscribers in a year um similar vibes to when i thought i'd have my first child at 22. so my expectations are always really high and i love being a dreamer because it's just the type of person that i am and i know that my testimony is going to be amazing so i keep on remaining faithful i keep on trying to be trustful and i just want god to take me wherever he wants me to go but a big thing that i did last year before i started my masters and i told my parents and i told everyone i was like i just want this year to make money and do youtube and i don't want to do anything else being in lockdown meant that i didn't have to go to work and not having to go to work meant that i had a bunch of free time to get to dedicate to doing my youtube and i was just trying to find like the blessing in that time and trying to find positives in a time where it was just like wow things are not going great for us three lockdowns in um similar vibes so i was i was stupid consistent for four to six months i was uploading two videos a week and i was so thankful because i was like i still have ideas i'm still feeling creative i still have stuff i want to do and i'm just content 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 and you know one of the biggest things that youtubers always tell people is oh you have to be consistent um you need to be uploading two three times a week you have to make sure you're consistent and stuff and be genuine and then that's when the followers will come and i was like wow like i'm being mad consistent i'm being as genuine as i've been in a really long time i'm not a hundred percent vulnerable it's actually really hard to sit in front of the camera and just be completely yourself and let people who God knows how many people into like parts of your life because i'm quite a private person and i've always found the irony in that i kind of want to be a public figure but i'm a really private person if you don't know i'm a christian and you know sometimes when you're praying about something and you really feel you really feel like god's got his hand in a situation and you're just like really on fire so you're like yes god's got his hand on this yeah yeah, yeah i'm on fire i'm gonna do this da, 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 da. and then um it's a slow burn it was a lot and it got me thinking during that first lockdown like what am i actually doing with my channel and i'm very thankful that i figured out where i want this channel to go and i don't think it was until last year that in a sense my youtube actually begun or began when i 
I first started doing this YouTube, I just liked this space. I liked having a space that was just mine because I feel like with the way that I've grown up, I've always felt like there's nothing that's just solely mine that my parents don't have a reign over, that like my brother's not involved in, that like no one knows about, like it's just mine and no one can take that away from me. And that's what I really liked about this space and what I could do with it is because I could just create and do what I wanted to do and I felt like it was just mine and no one could have a say over it even though I've had a number of arguments with my parents about videos that I've posted on this channel but that's a story for another day <laughs> and for a really long time it was like I had this space it felt like for the first time I had this space to do what I wanted and I had no idea what I wanted to do so I just did I did just about everything that there is to do on this space so I did everything and then I've always been a person that's always been really into clothes but then actually um working in retail has got me more into clothes because i appreciate i i guess i appreciate it more and i see it so much more than i did before so then this channel slowly developed into fashion content but also just creating whatever i wanted to do like when i made my diy photo booth or when i did my at home Louis Vuitton photo shoots at home photo shoots were my favorite thing to do and it got me into photography as well which i was never good at but somehow i've kind of like photography's kind of become a thing that i enjoy especially self self timers are babe i love self timer and that's just a lot of things have developed over this time over this past like year that i've really enjoyed and it's really taken it's really taken off in my channel and i always think back like i had such such big expectations for when i started and it was like was was the content you were creating even worth you having a million subscribers no you were doing the spice needle challenge um no like the work that i produce the work that i create is so i'm so, oh my gosh i'm so much prouder of that work now than i was when i was 18 the change and the difference that you see in that work and i like to show that a lot because i'm like i have grown on this platform so much your mind can go or at least my mind went wow i've grown so much on this platform the work i'm producing is actually good like i feel like the content that's coming out is actually quality and then my heart was just like w it's not adding up and it's really hard sometimes when i can produce content that i will spend weeks days weeks editing and it'll get like 24 views and that's really really disheartening but i stand by my statement that my testimony is going to be awesome and i'm really excited to be able to share that with people because i've been doing this i haven't uploaded in like a month because i got really bogged down by the whole numbers thing and i think comparison can really be a thief of joy because you can see other people in the space on the platform and you're like oh my god i'm working just as hard as them or i'm working harder than them why do they have bigger numbers than me da, 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 da. and it's really the thief of joy that's what i learned like in this month off and i hated that numbers numbers were they were bombarding me they were surrounding me they were overriding everything that i felt about this and then especially on instagram this is one thing i hate about instagram is the availability that people have to dm you also if you haven't followed my instagram my instagram is at time of time all one word t-i-m-i-w-i-t-h-t-e-m-i -I -I -E um i post i post quality content on there too so um enjoy the availability that people have to dm you and be like your um your what is it will be like your content is really good but your seo scores low this is why x y and z da, 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 da. so i spent a lot of time researching and figuring out how to do my own seo so that i don't get scammed by these people who want to do the seo for me i know how to do it me and my brother at least not athletes like this on youtube me like we spent a lot of time working on this and learning about it and then it'll be like my content is good i'm doing all the seo things i'm supposed to do i'm being genuine i'm being consistent i was like yeah where are the numbers and it hurt it hurt for like a really long time and i was like guys i don't want i said guys i did not tell a soul until just now but i was thinking i don't want to do this anymore I and mean, when things don't bring me joy and if something doesn't bring you joy i tend to stop doing it and i was it was this tug of war between i really really enjoy creating and i love where my channel is and but at the same time i've been doing this for so long eventually people are going to be like when are you going to get a real job every single day every single week every single hour it's just oh 
tell me what you're gonna do with your masters, what you're gonna do when it's done. <sighs> but this is, this, all of this rambling is just to say that if I'm not consistent on here, it's not, girl, I'm sorry. Sometimes you just be going through some stuff and you need to be able to collect your thoughts and come back with good content again. And I want this to be the space that it was to me when I started doing YouTube, which is just a space that is solely mine, not for anyone else, not for anyone else's benefit. Me, I'll get my 13 views and I'll keep posting every week because I enjoy the stuff that I make and at least it's out there. So if it randomly gets like a bajillion views, dope because it's really good stuff and I'm proud of what I've done and I just pray I only get better at what I do but I'm gonna try and not bog myself down with being consistent 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 even though it's a very smart way to do it and I appreciate that if I can be consistent we thank god that's a blessing in itself but I just want to have I want to be content with the content that I make wow did you see what I did there so I'm not gonna try and mass produce a bunch of stuff just so that I'm consistent I'm posting at least once a week I want my content to be good and if my content's good i pray every day that it speaks for itself and god continues to work in me and move me otherwise um like i said if you're new here have a look around i do fashion i do vlogs and sometimes i um use the lack of art gcse that i was available to to create some pretty cool stuff i would say so um have a browse and enjoy yourself enjoy the weirdness that is my brain on time with Timmy. But anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up so I know that I'm making content that you enjoy. Have a browse, have a look around. All of my social media links will be in the description box below. I enjoyed the time we've got to spend with you. I hope you enjoyed the time we've got to spend with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.